Hey church family, my name is Nate and I prepare a little devo for you called The Dangers of Gossip. Let's get straight into it. Gossip is a very big sin. It spreads misinformation among people and can hurt people. What do we gain from saying something about someone? Nothing. There's no point in saying something behind someone's back if it is not uplifting. Gossip brings destruction and chaos. Your perspective changes on someone on information that could possibly be untrue. And even if that information is true, you still should not be spreading that information. We as Christians should be shutting that down as soon as we hear it happening. Me, personally, I'm a huge victim of gossip. I've been through it a lot going through school with rumors and bullying was the result of it. I've had rumors of many demeaning things said against me, but guess what? None of them were true. I know what it means to be bullied and have something bad said against me. It led me to want to take my own life. And I know what it does to another person. <clears throat> Hopefully by the end of this message, we will all see how gossip is a sin and what destruction it can bring. In 1 Timothy 5.13, it says, And besides, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but also gossips and busybodies, saying things which they ought not. People who spend their lives just talking about other people and their lives need to go out and get their own life. <clears throat> we are Christians, brothers and sisters in Christ. We shouldn't need to strive off of gossip in the church and just worry about what we need to do to be better Christians. As we read in 2 Thessalonians 3.11, it says, For we hear that there are some who walk among you in a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busybodies. Now what does being a busybody mean? A busybody, do-gooder, meddler, or marplot is someone who meddles in the affair of others. Do you want to be that one person who is known as the busybody or the gossiper? The Bible tells us that we shouldn't be around one who gossips and tells secrets. In Proverbs 20:19, it says, He who goes about as a talebearer reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with one who flatters his lips. Now it says he or his, but this applies to both man and woman when it comes to gossip. The one who flatters their lips will speak badly and quickly against you, just as quickly as they would speak for you. So that is why it's best to stay clear of those who always gossip. Do you want people to not be associated with you, your fellow Christian family, because you were known as the busybody? Proverbs 11.13 says, A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is of a faithful spirit conceals a manner. Now it is not sinful to go to someone of higher leadership and tell them about something that is truly wrong and dark. In Ephesians 5.11 it says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. This does not mean go and spread the information. This is purely just a way to help. Go to leadership if you do not know how to address it with that brother or sister, or if you tried addressing it with that person who needed it. The Lord will also reveal sin when it is needed. Any sin you commit is going to come to light, so don't think you can just hide it away. As it is said, be sure your sins will find you out. In Luke 12, 2, it says, For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. The Lord will reveal all in time. You have nothing hidden, especially in the ministry. Everyone has eyes on you. Your works are going to be revealed whether it is good or not. In Ecclesiastes 12, 14, it says, For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or or evil. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. We need to be people we can turn to during hard times. We shouldn't have to worry that if we share a dark, deep, personal thing that we don't want others to know, that it won't be spread and be used to hurt us. We need to be the ones who shut down gossip because we as Christians should know how it affects one physically and mentally. And with that, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, just thank you for this day and just for whoever needed to hear this message, I just pray that they heard well. And for those watching, I just pray that they continue to have a good day and you continue to just help them through whatever, whatever they need and they continue to glorify you. In your name, amen.